Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Diary Horse Hall. I'm Lady Shura. And I am Trying Morning. Let's pick some classes, shall we? We shall. Why? We have no other choice, really, when you think about it. I know. Well, I guess you could sleep. But that's just sleep. Should I sleep at the end? Uh, no, let's wait till no. next week. Um, I guess I'll just do all of them. Why not? Though? Sure. Uh, eventually we probably want to get our smart to 50, because that's a nice round number. Oh, okay. For all our OCD types out there. And should we get our strong to 30? Sure. Something strange is going on. Everywhere I walk, people stare at me, then turn away and giggle. I'm sure I'm not imagining it. What's with everybody? Is there another paper fish in my back? I keep checking my robe in case this is one of those nightmares where my clothes disappear in public. But I can't see anything wrong. There must be someone who will tell me what's happening. I'm scared. Who Why are they laughing us? at me? Oh, it's Manuel. <laughs> Manuel, you're not molested. Well, he looks kind of defensive, so maybe... But he always looks that way. I don't know. Aha! Uh, what voice did I do for this guy? I don't know. Are, are you alright? I'm not sure. I was hoping you could tell me. Is he cruel to you? Is who cruel to me? Your husband. What? You mean it's not true? Everyone was talking about it. Oh no! I... We... Oh! There you are! Oh, f <laughs> That's okay. My congratulations to the happy couple. A bit late, I know, but I suppose you didn't want everyone to know how you were earning your grades. Oh, fuck. That's not what happened! So what did happen then? Hmm? And now the waves press in. Excited students of all ages, some still disbelieving, some commiserating, others eagerly asking where we had our honeymoon and what Professor Grabener is like in hey, bed. Hey, that's a little bit too personal now. I guess that's Grabener? Ew! Oh, no! The other students melt aside and his fingers wrap tightly around my arm. You will come with me. All right, now the students are going to be talking for sure. I know. Only after dragging me into a classroom does he his grip relax. I rub my arm by instinct. Winston. Winston. <laughs> Winston. <laughs> Winston. Thanks for getting me out of... Do you think this is a joke, Mrs. Grabener? Well, that's weird to hear him say that. Yeah. Do you realize that you and I are now the laughing stocks of the entire school? I allowed you the courtesy of informality. I offered you an olive branch, and you threw it into the fire. Your utter lack of discretion. I didn't! It wasn't me! You have already taken me for a fool, and yet you need to repeat the offense. I never told anyone. I have no- Oh, shit. His entire body twitches with rage, and unseen hands seize hold of me, pinning me up against the wall. No more lies. Shit, this is scary. Why is he attacking me? This isn't cool. No, not at all. My feet dangle helplessly, inches from the ground. I can feel the power streaming off him like a heat wave. Like a child, you think yourself immortal, invincible. You can't imagine the consequences of your actions. Your life was at stake, and you knew it. But what did you care? We were always there to save you. I have sworn an oath to take you as my wife and protect you. I cannot harm you. I cannot divorce you until the year's up. I dare not send you away. And so you believe that there's nothing I can do to you. I try to speak, but my tongue isn't working properly, and struggling only makes me need to cough. Push me again. Mock me again, little girl. I will keep you so very safe. I'll protect you in the depths of the darkest dungeon until your giggling chums have forgotten your very name. Good lord! I can make you disappear. He releases the spell that holds me up, but my knees don't recover in time and I fall in a heap. Go back to your eager public. Enjoy your fame. And be afraid. I am afraid. This is not cool, bro. That was so wrong. I... Run away! <laughs> Stumbling half blind, I make my way out into the hall and to wow. my own bed. Only then do I allow myself to cry. What a douche! I really liked him. Come on. That was heavy. That's not nice. Of course, even in my own room, I can't find any privacy. Well, of course, you have frickin' Virginia there. We don't even have our own bed to cry in, really. I know. <laughs> that suitcase must be my bed. <laughs> Horace, are you in there? Horace? Go away! It's a lie, isn't it? What everyone's saying? That's why you're mad. I'll beat him up for you if you want. I said, go away. 
What's with you? I said I'd help. It's true, isn't it? There is no way that Horace and Grabby got married. It was an accident. Oh, come on. How do you accidentally marry somebody? I know, right? It's ridiculous, but it's true. <laughs> I'm not a liar. Only now he thinks I am, and he hates me, and he's going to do horrible things to me. How could you... Sorry. How could you possibly marry a teacher and not tell us? Yeah, I'm not reading that one for you. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Will you tell us what really happened? Well, there's no there's point in trying to keep secrets any longer. Story. As best as I can, I lay out the story. The madness. <laughs> my stupid impulse to help. Professor Potsdam pushing us together in order to protect protect me the promise of an easy divorce the detail that there was absolutely nothing going on between us and i didn't tell anyone i really didn't that promise of an easy divorce is very tempting I know. but he's so angry he actually despises me now if it weren't for the wedding vows he might have but i don't know how anyone found out how did you find out what was going around this morning was just a story that professor grabner had gotten hitched over spring break i heard that from susan who the hell is susan Never heard of Susan before. Nobody was talking about you until later. There was that love letter back at initiation. That was fucking Damien, though. I know, seriously. That... Oh, I cannot stand him. Maybe somebody remembered that. And Angela said she saw you on a date at the Glen once, but she might have made that up. Angela? How'd she see us at the Glen? What date? We never went on a date. At the Glen? He brought me a drink because I was tired from running the candle booth. I'm just saying what she said. Why no is Angela person... stalking us around, trying to make us miserable? <laughs> she really is such a freaking bitch. No one person seems to have known the whole story. Not at first. Maybe it was all an accident. Nothing but little bits of gossip coming together to guess at the right conclusion. Until our reactions confirmed it. Not that it makes any difference now. The damage is done. Well, maybe if you told us the truth, we would have known enough to cover your tracks. I couldn't tell anyone. He said I should never tell. And now the secret's out anyway, and he's going to throw me in the dungeon and torture me. I'm sure he won't do that. You didn't see his face. At that point, I hear a knock on the door. Everyone's looking for you, you know. You're the scandal of the school. Great. With a pitiful whine, I bury my face in my hands. Uh. Virginia, don't be mean. We'll tell them you're not here. They can keep looking somewhere else. Will they believe that? You're going to help them look. I am? What? I oh, guess okay, I am. I see. I see what you're doing here. Ellen pats me on the shoulder, and the two of them leave to carry out their charade. Even that isn't enough. Afternoon, evening, and night, people keep knocking on the door. I never answer. What are answer. they coming by to say? Like, oh, are you married to Grabby? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what they could possibly say. Sometimes they shout questions. Like, get over it. And then I can hear Isabel come out and chase them away. But they come back. They always come back. <laughs> what am I going to do? They come back. They always come back. It's like Jack. Man, poor uh, Horace says I have good luck with men. No, she, she doesn't, really. Morning comes, and with it, yet another knock on the door. Should I? No. Maybe I should just stay in my room all day. Two more knocks and a pause. A moment of your time, please. A chill goes through me as I recognize the voice. That's Professor Grabener. Uh-oh, what's he here for? I make my way out of the room, afraid to meet his eyes. Horace, I believe I owe you. <sighs> Miss Cochran has taken responsibility for carelessly allowing certain information to become available. It was Minnie who leaked the secret? Frickin' what? bitch, Minnie! I was trying to help you, dude! Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Don't get on your bad side now. I'm frickin' pissed off at Minnie. It was inappropriate for me to jump to conclusions, and I did not treat you as a gentleman should. No, you Certainly did not, not treat me as a gentleman should at all. Unless you're going by size definition of gentleman. <laughs> That's true. I am sorry. Now he's apologizing? Um... Maybe I should you, say you scared you me. You scared us, bro. Right? Because he totally did. Yeah. You... You really scared me. Why? Why would you treat me or anyone like that? For exactly that reason. To frighten you. Well, it did that. As the lid is off the box, I will make the appropriate announcements. Once it is clear that you are under my protection... Fear of reprisal should discourage at least some of the attention. It is a useful tool. I hope he doesn't expect me to thank him for being terrifying. Good day. He leaves me alone. Um, that was not a sufficient apology. I'm sorry. Oh god, what do you want? Before class begins, Professor Potsdam stands up to make an announcement. 
Some of you may have heard the rumors regarding our Horace and Professor Grabener. Well, it's absolutely true! They are husband and wife! Alright, Potsum. Oh god, the E.T. face is back. And Professor Grabener requests that anyone with questions approach him directly and not bother Mrs. Grabener on the subject. The consequences of that aren't lost on anyone from the sudden outbreak of wincing. Success! Success. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if he took Grabner's class that day and might get something from him. Aww. Oh well. Whatever. I'm feeling a bit restless, so I go out to stretch my legs. Hi, Manuel. Um, hi. Uh, I, I've gotta go. Huh. I guess he's busy. Oh, there's a familiar face. Well, not familiar enough. God. Horace! I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't mean it. She turns and runs you the what? Horace? Huh? Ellen! Hi! Hi. What you doing? Need any help? I'm sort of at loose ends. Nope. Nope. I'm fine. I'm sure you have more important things to do. What? No. Like what? I don't. What are you trying to say there, Ellen? <laughs> Why would I? Well, you're an adult now. Ellen! No, I'm not! What is wrong with you? Just stop, man. Why is she being like this? Just yesterday, she was helping me. So, are you going to move out? Ellen, what is wrong with you? Why would I do that? Now that it's not a secret anymore. Ugh, no! Sorry! I I'll just go, okay? Yes, Great, even please. my own roommates don't want to talk to me anymore. I wander the halls, but wherever I walk, other students look up, flinch, and then look away. They're afraid of me! Well, oh hopefully, no, I'm weird! At least Virginia's not talking to us either, right? Good, that's, that's uh, a plus. A plus? I suppose being treated like a contagious disease is slightly better than being mobbed with embarrassing questions, but <laughs> I want to talk to someone. Oh my god. Horace, you know you're such a disease. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Kevin, you're such a disease. Uh, home alone. Uh, should we talk to Grabby? Yeah, why not? Right? Like, whatever. Let's talk this out. Everything that's happened is confusing and upsetting. I guess there's only one person who might understand how I feel. You know what? I want to confront Minnie. That's what I want to do. Freaking Actually, bitch. yeah. I'm, I can't get over it. Where did that come from? I, I know. knew he was such a loyal friend. I know, and we were trying to help her. We even, like, stuck up for her. Oh, I can't. Oh, I want to punch her in the face. <laughs> I know the way into his rooms, but I know exactly how well he'd appreciate my barging in and out. Well, the in the library on Sunday. I make my way to the door and knock. What is it? It's Horace. Can I talk to you? <sighs> Very well. Come in. Oh, I his forgot how girly bedroom. his room is. <laughs> Hi. Horace! Sudden book opening up. <laughs> Great, he doesn't want to look at me either. Once again, I must apologize for my rough treatment of you yesterday. Yes, you must. <laughs> what? He <laughs> just how you opened the book there. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve more respect. Not only as my wife, but as a person who has so far demonstrated integrity. You should know that it was a hollow threat. He closes the book. <laughs> I would never banish a student to such a fate, merely for causing me embarrassment. He had to, like, he wrote down his speech, obviously, and he had to read it to us. Oh, well, that's good, I guess. Is there something else you need? I... And suddenly it's all too much to bear. Have you seen how they're looking at me? Pardon? <laughs> it's been bad enough these past few months keeping secrets from everyone. My friends, my roommates, my family lying to everyone and feeling more and more alone. But I thought if I could just pretend this wasn't happening for long enough until the end of the year, then it would all go away. We could pretend it never happened. I could go on with my life. But now it's real. Now everyone knows and I know I can never be normal again. Who's going to like me now? I'm not a school girl. I'm somebody's wife. <laughs> I've never been kissed. I've never been on a date. And I'm already used goods. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> huh? As far as I know, she's not used goods yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. By a... Uh... Although Damien did smell our use. <laughs> oh, sh yeah, what the heck? He was like, oh, no, the goods have already been taken or something. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. He said that to us. Yep. Or the prize has already been won, that's what he said. Oh, okay, whatever. Wow. Yeah, that was heavy. Anyway, you may find that members of the magical community are more understanding of unusual lifestyles than you imagine. Hmm. Makes sense, I guess. No one wants to talk to me now. They act like they're scared of me. Like, how does something like Manuel happen? <laughs> I can't imagine. Uh, I guess he's used to people being afraid of him. I'm sorry, I must sound really whiny to you, huh? It's just, of Not all the things all. I dreamed might someday happen when I got married, I never imagined. I expected that at least my husband would like me. 
I am opening my book right now. <laughs> he has to read what, what what to say. He's like, oh, I, I prepared for this. It's like an orphan in the book saying you are here right now. It's like, yes. this is what to say if a girl says this to you. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I have some. I'll get out of your hair. There's some page in my book to tell me what to say here. <laughs> Let me see. No. I don't dislike you. Yeah, that's a good one. I, I'm glad I wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said, I don't dislike you. You have many admirable qualities. You're a spirited young woman with a healthy curiosity that you are learning to temper with wisdom. You're generous and brave, if sometimes impetuous. You are an intelligent and diligent student. Oh. You know, you do much better not reading from your book. Yeah. Of course, you're also a young woman. And you prefer the company of your own kind. No, I don't. And by that, I mean horses. Oh, maybe. But I don't like Virginia. I don't like Ellen. I don't like Minnie now. Like, come on. Mm. I don't prefer my own kind. No. It was your company that I came here for. Oh, whoa, snap. Whoa. <laughs> Hit the brakes. This is going a bit far. Oh. We stare at each other for a few moments, neither of us quite sure what to say next. Um, would it be all right if I visited you again sometime? to talk. I'd like to get to know you better. I am very busy with preparations for the final exams. Oh. Perhaps sometime over the weekend would be acceptable. Oh. Have a good day, Horace. You too, Hieronymus. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, snap. Horace is putting on the charm. Ha! <laughs> is that what she really wanted to do this whole time? Yeah. Look, look, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to me. Oh, oh snap. Now this is a birthday surprise. I'm gonna fucking punch her in the face. Horace, are you busy? I don't know. I guess not. Horace I had just... such a horse face right there. <laughs> you didn't notice. I didn't notice. Sorry. I'll have to watch it uh, on YouTube. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I was too wrapped up in my own problems. So what? You try to distract yourself by telling everyone about me and grabbing her? Like, what the heck kind of sense is that, you stupid douche? No. I was talking to my roommate about feeling trapped, and it slipped out. Not about you, just that Professor Grabener was married. What, how how did does it just slip that? out? I feel so trapped like Professor Grabener. Wait, she should say us. If she's yeah. like talking about someone being trapped. Yeah, we're, but she said Grabener was trapped, which means that- We're definitely more oh, trapped than Grabener. I Grabiner. hate her. I hate her. I hate her so much. Hmm. I didn't realize she would consider that interesting enough to tell everyone, or that the rumor mill would find the right target eventually. You obviously don't know the rumor mill around the school, I know. Minnie. And after you tried to help me with Kyo, I feel terrible about causing you trouble. Yeah, well, you freaking should. It's all right. No, it's not. Scared me silly, but it'll be all right. So, what is going on with you and Kyo? Nothing, I hope. I'm sorry, I'd rather not talk about it anymore. I want... I hope everyone will forget about it. What? We can't so even know we. what happened? Well, she wants to forget about him, so it sounds like she's trying to move past it. Freaking bullshit. Yeah, I know that feeling. Of course, with the gossip of me and Professor Grabner making go. the rounds, no one's likely to care about Minnie and Kyo anymore. Was it really an accident that she let that slip? Hmm. I think not. That's kind of curious, actually. Oh, I hate her. Why is she the most popular girl in school, after all? She is. Oh, you I remember when we president. were, uh, at the beginning of the year, running for class treasurer, and they said, don't even bother running for president, because oh, yeah. Minnie's sure to win. Like, what made her so popular? I don't, I don't know. know. I hate her, though. Well, anyway. After all my waiting, the first rumblings of thunder come in the night. Everybody out of bed! What? What? Is there a tornado? tornado? No, it's a thunder dance, right? What? Oh, I forgot about it already. You tell her. I have to go wake everyone else. Oh, snap. Attention, everybody! Music. It's time for the tornado dance. <laughs> Any vestiges of sleep are quickly chased away by the howling ruckus being raised in the gym. Everyone stomps and flails and screams. Pairs link hands and spin in circles. Someone tries to form a conga line, but they're told to break it up. Not wild enough. Clearly. And then the fire dancing begins. Oh, look at it go. I help shoo my classmates to the safety of the walls, while a few of the upperclassmen take turns weaving fire around themselves as they twist and spin. It doesn't look I like can't fire. see how they're doing it. No, it doesn't. Is the fire attached to anything, or are they controlling it solely with their minds? It looks like a bunch of knobbies. Hey, listen, hey, I know. listen, God. hey, listen. That is hey, sure to give them hey, a headache. Listen, what's William up? William turns hey. out to be one of the best, keeping multiple streams of fire whipping dangerously around his limbs. Those skills must be terrifying in a duel. But for the rest of us, there's only stomping and howling until we collapse from exhaustion and can finally go back Sounds to bed. Sounds fun. I was sort of expecting this, but I still need more sleep. <laughs> yeah, really. It's our anniversary. 
Yay! Oh, oh frick. what? I'm too stressed. It was all that dancing. On Saturday morning, I get up terribly early and deliver the mail and the allowances. Then I'm free for the day. What should I do today? Ooh! Oh, Ooh. my. What should I do? Should I? Should we I? have to. I think so, too. Forget Minnie. Seriously, fuck her. I'm standing outside his door holding a tray and trying to figure out how to knock. How to knock? Well, because she's holding a tray. Oh, well, fair enough, but... <laughs> it does sound kind of stupid, though. I could try to rest it against myself and keep it balanced with one hand, but if I spill this, it'll have exactly the opposite effect I was hoping Maybe for. Maybe just call out to him? What's, what's the effect she was hoping for? I could hold onto the tray and shout through the door or knock with my foot, but that would be undignified. I don't think he'd be impressed. Finally, I decide it's better to be safe than sorry and carefully set the tray down before knocking for admission. Hi. I brought tea. Thank you. That's very kind of you. That's my responsibility as your wife, right? To give you my kindness? So you're only doing this because you feel forced to? No! I want to be nice to you. Kindness and courage. You've certainly shown that walking into the lion's den. <clears throat> you're not that scary. For some reason, I kind of thought you were saying dragon's den, but I might be just getting that confused with Game of Thrones. <laughs> Maybe. Oh well. Because I thought he was like calling himself the dragon and, you know. Well, then he would have to wear his crown of gold. I guess he's a Lannister. I guess so. Oh, well. Gross. Yeah. Anyway, many would disagree. He turns from me, taking a few restless paces across the floor. So tell me, Horace, why do you think I go out of my way to terrify students? <laughs> because it's fun. No. <laughs> no. Um, to protect, to protect them. them, I assume. Yeah. Because you're Snape. And Minnie gave us... <laughs> because you're Snape and because... uh, <laughs> Actually, it was Potsdam gave us that background story. Yeah. I think you're trying to protect us. That is my goal. Magic opens up a world of possibilities... But even the most beautiful can be deadly. It is very easy to make a mistake, particularly for those like yourself. Wild Seed. Race in ignorance, one slip, and you will flare up and blow out like a candle in the wind. So wait, I'll just randomly flare up if I am like, not careful. It's I guess so. Scary. But once put out, thy light, I cannot give it vital growth again. What is that? Is that a quote from something? I guess so. Because I kind of miss it. I missed it. But it didn't say that it was from anything. Thanks to Professor Potsdam's, for Potsdam's information, I have some idea of what, or rather, whom he's talking about. The council sets arcane rules, and I terrorize the sheep into following them. Those who fail are cold, not their lies, but their power. We have an excellent record for keeping students alive. I am the Steve Jobs of the school. <laughs> and so only the obedient shall pass. <laughs> like Gandalf. Yes. And Frodo. <laughs> but with everyone afraid of you, you must be lonely sometimes, aren't you? Not everyone is afraid of me. Okay, Professor Potsdam isn't. She's probably not afraid of anything. And yourself? I was afraid of you this week. Yes. You were meant to be. I believe that you had made a joke of me. That you had lost all respect for authority. And for the promises you had made, that you were out of control, and there was nothing I could do to punish you. But after, like, the moment we had the day before that, we were pretty close. Yeah. Eh. The only tool that I had left to control you was fear, and so I frightened you to the best of my ability. You said it was a hollow threat, so it wasn't true what you said? You couldn't really do those things? And thus, even this tool must be set aside. What I said was not completely false. If you were to engage in behavior sufficient to cause expulsion under normal circumstances, we would have to investigate extreme measures to deal with the situation. As my wife, you cannot be properly expelled, but neither could you continue as a student in gross violation of the rules. Why couldn't we be expelled? I don't know, it sounds kind of strange. <laughs> but despite the suggestions I made earlier, speaking out of turn about a professor is not cause for expulsion. Damn, because we could have gotten rid of Minnie. <laughs> He wanted me to panic. He wanted to make me cry in order to keep control of me, to make me obey. But now he's offering the truth? You have a funny way of trying to make friends. Excuse me? Well, telling me the truth about the mean things he did to me is probably a good thing in the long run, but normal people start off with things like hobbies and favorite foods. You wish to discuss my hobbies? Why not? What do you have to do? What do you do to have fun other than reading? I do not have fun. Relaxation? 
I am fond of chamber music. I enjoy wine. Which you are far too young to have appreciated. I guess, should I just say I never had wine? Because Horace probably hasn't, right? I don't know, has she? She looks like she kind of lives on the wild side. Oh, should I say I like wine? I don't know, it's up to you. I don't know. I personally don't like wine, but... <laughs> you can say I don't like wine. Okay. Whatever. No, I don't like wine. You are underage. My parents let me have a sip at dinner sometimes. Lots of people do. Just because I'm young doesn't mean I don't know anything. With that as an opener, we do manage a bit of harmless small talk about our lives and tastes. I don't stick around too long, though. I don't want to overstay my welcome. That's true. But he invited us. Well, but we're in the lion's den. We'll be careful. <sighs> All right, everyone. Let's see how this relationship blossoms even more next I week. I know, we're back <laughs> on the uh, up and up. Yeah, we are. All right, everyone. Take care. See you later, folks. <laughs>